Adobe sent me an invite to their fancy Firefly text tool and I said, do you even know who you're talking to? Have a little respect. Also, this is not a kimono. I don't want to hear anything in my comments about wearing a kimono. It is a Hawaii shirt and I look damn sexy in it. Let's get started. Here you can see the stunning results creating yarn, wood, dripping paint, molten metal, flowers in the text. You can do so much stuff. Here we are in Invoke AI. You can do the same thing in Automatic 11.11, but here it's just a bit easier to show. I'm using the model deliberate version 2 for that and we are on the unified canvas. Now what you want to do is to load an image here as a base for your text and you want to prepare that a little bit. So for that, you can use any kind of tool. I'm using Affinity Photo for that, and I'm using a white background. I'm having an image here with a resolution of 768 in the width and 512 in the height. Now, one thing I'm doing here, and this will make things a lot easier for you. Here we have a fur image, and then I will turn this image into a group. So right click and then select group down here where my head is, like so. So now this is in a group. Next, you want to write a text on it. On the left side, we have a text tool. You drag out the text to the size you want to have. You set up the font, the type of font, and then you write your text. Let's write Choi here. And of course, you can still scale it. You can move it around. The reason why we need this and why we have the image in a group is because now we right click on the text layer and we say mask to below. Now, this will create a mask that is using the image inside of the text. But the benefit here is any kind of image I put in the group now will also have that mask applied to it. So here I have a group with multiple images. We have the fur, we have some machine parts, we have some wood, we have some burning coal, we have some flowers in the background. Now this can give the AI a hint of what you want to create from the color, from the texture, from the pattern. So it's a good idea even though the AI is doing something completely different with this and it doesn't have to fit 100% to what you actually want to create. Back into Invoke AI, you want to click here on the upload button you select the image you have prepared, for example, in this case, the fur image. And then here with the move tool, you want to drag out these outer parts. So this is fitting the complete area that you want to cover with your render. Now on the left side, you have the positive, the negative prompt. Keep the prompt easy and simple. In this case, I'm just writing rainbow colored braided yarn, highly detailed, saturated. Negative prompt, also rather simplified, blurry, empty background, white space. So we don't want to have any empty background, of course, and we don't want to have white space inside of the text. Of course, sometimes it happens still, but I feel like it helps. Now down here, I've set this to 20 steps, CFG scale 7.5, sampler Euler A. You can play around with these settings. One setting that is, comes next, that is image to image strength, is really important here. Now, the value works like this. The more you go to zero, the more it stays the original image. The more you go towards one, the less it is going to be similar to the original image. So you want to play around with a value between 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 to see what works best for you. Sometimes it's a little bit lower, sometimes it's a little bit higher, depending on what you want to create. Let's click on Invoke here. And this already gave us a wonderful result. Now, I'm not going to lie here. Sometimes you need a lot of rerolls to get the results you want to have, but you can really get some very good stuff. Also, I want to point out here, keep the text and the font simple. Keep the word you want to render on rather short because otherwise the AI is going to get confused. If you have more text that you want to render like this, maybe split up the text and then recombine it later. Because the style, at least when you work with simple materials, is rather consistent. When you're done with it, you click down here on the hook to accept the image. Then you want to click up here to save to gallery. You switch over to text to image. This already has the image loaded that you created. And then you want to click up here for upscale. To preserve the material qualities, you might want to lower the denoise strength and the upscale strength. So here I have both at 0 0.3. When we upscale, you can see that it still looks mostly like yarn. 
Here you have another example with also great results. So there's really cool things you can do here. Absolutely let me know your text tricks in the comments, share your results in my Facebook or Discord group. Thanks for watching and leave a like. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.